Indigenous cultures have long passed on knowledge from generation to generation through oral traditions. And one of the ways we all share knowledge in our communities today is through storytelling. Storytelling is important to our work. We love to connect through interpretation of stories. This is a project we've worked on that involves a layer of interpretive storytelling at Glenifer Reserves in the Bellinger Valley. The aim was to bring awareness and appreciation of the rich biodiversity of the area and to celebrate and share the history and indigenous culture of the area. The messages that the community wanted to convey to visitors were to encourage respect and awareness for the natural environment, enhance cultural understanding of the area, consider the local residents and neighbors and be positive and welcoming. One suggestion that came out of the consultation stage of the project was a top five tips list. This was a friendly way to make people more mindful of their surrounds and show visitors how much this place has been and is still cared for and loved. We collaborated with a videographer to develop the themes and interpretive content online with videos accessed via QR codes on the signs, adding a further layer of storytelling to the interpretation. The interpretive stories told at each of the four sites focused on different themes, encouraging people to experience a woven interconnected storyline whilst visiting the different reserves. The natural bush settings of Caparero and Broken Bridge reserves focused on the flora and fauna of the valley and the natural environment, with Gumbangia language translations of local animal, bird and plant species. Evocative quotes taken from the local newspaper archives added an engaging layer to the narrative, bringing to life a picture of appreciation for nature that has not changed over the decades. The local land care group described the thousands of hours of labour that their group has put into the land over the past three decades. Many of these people accompanied us on visits to the reserves and surrounding bushland feeding us with stories about the legendary floods and the changing environmental and social landscape over the years. It was important that the signage acknowledge and explain the love that's been bestowed on the reserves by so many of these volunteers. Our time spent in the valley with these environmental cr crusaders and our own visits over the seasons allowed us to experience the astonishing beauty and serenity of the area that's so valued and we wanted to reflect that in the interpretive signage. We thought that the spectacular mountain views at Arthur Keogh Reserve were an appropriate place to convey the sense of awe you feel as you stand in the middle of Gumbangi homeland. From the early stages of developing the reserve's master plan and during research for the signage, we did extensive consultation with the Gumbangi community. Bushwalks with Uncle Mark Flanders allowed us to gain a glimmer of understanding of life as it may have been for First Nations people before European invasion. Uncle Gary Williams of Murabai Language Centre gave us stories that had been told to him by elders of the past and advised on the Gumbangia language translations for flora, fauna and place names. This panel shows part of the painting by Gumbangia artists Keen Ballangari and Natalie Bateman, which was painted right next to the river near Broken Bridge Reserve. Keane describes a beautiful story of the day they were there and how he put spirits in the trees and became one with the surroundings, with the river flowing and encircled by the dancing spirits of his ancestors. Ginnagay, I'm Uncle Mark Flanders and I'm a Gumbangi Aboriginal man. And I'd like to welcome you to my country here today so you're safe in these lands and you're safe when you go back to where you come from. We the Gumbangi people here, we are land and sea people. We are saltwater, freshwater people, custodians of our lands and waters, caretakers of our lands and waters. We are traditional owners, elders, knowledge holders, teachers, and we are parents. And we have many totems as a way of looking after our lands and waters. I just saw one dog go there, a blue tongue lizard. We had totems for them too, how to look after them. The fish in the water, the Yamaha. We have the black cockatoo, which is Beligan. The blue tongue lizard, Wandaga. Carpet python, Jumbal. Karawang, Dawalam. Eagle, Garil. 
We had the fruit bat, Balawea. Goanna, Wariga. King Parrot, Gongan. Magpie, Nyambu. Regent Bowbird, Wagai Balloon. Satin Bowbird, Jirgan. And Wallaby, the redneck one, Bullin. All these animals and plants we looked after through this totem system. So when you come out here, can you please look after these lands and waters too when you come here? Look after it and it will look after you. Goodbye. Yada yarang. This is the gateway sign at Earl Preston Reserve. Interpretation at this spot, next to the Glenifer Community Hall and Uniting Church Heritage Buildings, focused on European settlement history, and then the more recent influx of hippies in the 70s and tree changes in the 80s. This sign defines the entry point to the area and reflects the historic character of this reserve. The signage at Earl Preston describes the prosperity of the early 1900s in the rich soils of the valley through timber getting and dairy farming. The image at the top shows the original village at the crossroads of Glenifer and Timboon Roads. This is now Earl Preston Reserve. The bottom image shows a delightful afternoon at of tennis at the courts that were located at what is now Arthur Keogh Reserve. Research into the European history of the area began for us with talking to two local historians, themselves descendants of early Glenifer Valley settlers, and uncovered a wealth of fascinating stories. The president of the Glenifer Community Association spent many hours with us in Earl Preston Reserve, where the hall and church are located, pointing out legendary flood levels on the heritage buildings and walking us through the site of the original village. The Bellingen Historical Museum and its volunteers provided generous offerings that brought early settler experiences to life. The tales of timber getters and pioneering dairy farmers came alive for us whilst talking to these people who are so passionate about our recent history. This image shows the team building Keogh's Bridge with the new Glenifer Hall just visible in the background. This is one of the signs at Earl Preston with the restored church building in the background. With this project, like any interpretive project, we wanted to capture all of these engaging stories on the signs and in the videos, giving locals and visitors the opportunity to discover something more about this remarkable place. Thank <laughs> you.